Hey everyone, I'm so excited that you're back with us this week. So we're in the middle of a series that's all about kings, queens, princes, princesses, and knights. All of these people are considered royalty, but God reigns over all. And since we are his children, that makes us royalty too. In fact, we have a song about being members of God's royal family. So everybody stand up and sing with me. Show your love I'm loved by you Purify my heart In all I do I will love my friends And my enemies You died for me Now I believe We're blessed and all That was so much fun. It's time for us to find out what's gonna happen next with Cal and Ace as they continue their quest to rescue King Asher. Once upon a time, an evil queen decided to expand her enchanted forest and take over the majestic kingdom of Erenwyn. In order to do this, she kidnapped its king in hopes of taking his place on the throne. But once the king's child, Callan, and Aesil in the night set off on a quest to rescue King Asher, the queen had to improvise so she left them a note with challenges that involved much suffering. If they skipped any challenges or tried to take a shortcut, the Queen would punish the villagers of Erenwyn. After completing the first two challenges, Cal and Ace were on their way down from the top of Mount Snary into the Valley of Lava Rocks. After leaving the branch at the top of the mountain, I think that your spots have faded. Are you still itchy? You know what? I haven't even thought about it. I guess that means that my allergic reaction has been stopped. So what did that old map say that this valley was called? I thought it said that this was a valley of land rocks, but something is telling me that that's wrong. Well, you got one thing right. There are rocks everywhere in this valley. And there's mud everywhere too. I can't believe this. I'm getting my palace loafers all dirty. Really, your highness? We're on a quest to rescue your father and you're concerned about getting your loafers dirty? It's very difficult to keep these things clean. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh, but I could easily get across this valley by simply jumping from rock to rock. Then my loafers would stay as clean as little baby cheeks. 
Ow! These rocks are lava hot! Are you right, Cal? Apparently, this is a valley of lava rocks, not land rocks. These things are made of hot lava. Touching them was like sticking my hand in a fire. I think you will heal. But before we move on, you better check to see if Evil Queen Melise has another challenge for you. I would not want to accidentally skip one. Then she'll poison all the water in the wells of Erwin. Oh, you're right, Ace. The Queen does have another challenge for us. Hmm. Uh, it says that we must move all of the lava rocks off of the floor of the forest before we can keep going. But how are we supposed to do that? Did you not see what the rock just did to my hand? And there are so many of them. I know. We can use my latest invention. I just finished sewing this before we left for this quest. You can put it on your hand and hold hot things. I'm calling it a do mafluchi. Okay. I guess it's worth a try. All of your other inventions have been pretty helpful. Hmm. This isn't too bad. Oh wait, the heat from the rock is too much. Oh man, it's still, it's still really hot. Anyway, we have to get all these rocks off the forest floor before we can move on. This Duma Fluchi or whatever you call it works for a Hey, you know how you blow on hot food to cool it down before you eat it? Well, what if we blew on these rocks while, that, while we're holding them? Hmm, this seems to be working, but some more cool air might help. Did that hurt your hands? Not too bad, but this is going to take a long time. It will, but it's the right thing to do. And even if we have to be here all day moving the rocks just so we can rescue my father, then that's what I want to do. Whew, that was really tough. I'm definitely ready to find that stream at the end of the Carving Oaks Pass. These challenges are making me so thirsty. Me too, Ace. Let's keep moving. I'll see what the next challenge is while we walk. So the next challenge is simply to find the right way out of the Carving Oaks Pass. That's what the note says. I don't understand why that's so difficult. We'll just have to stay on this path that we're on and keep walking straight. Hey, Cal, check this out. These trees have words carved into them. Oh, I get it. Carving Oaks Forest, because the trees are carved. Hmm, one part chicken feathers, six sticky boogers, two fingernails, skunk meat. What is this list? A list of the grossest things that we can think of? At the top, it says Queen Malie's secret ravioli recipe. Not that I would ever eat with the evil queen, but if she invites me to dinner, make sure I say no. Hmm. Choose a different path to find a shortcut to where you seek. Hey Ace, do you think that there's a shortcut anywhere in this path? I wouldn't think so. Plus, we decided to stay straight on our current path in order to find the right way out of here. Yeah, but if there is a shortcut to where my father's being held captive, I should take it, right? Maybe I should follow the directions that are written here. But in order to do that, I would have to lie to Ace and tell her that the map shows a shortcut. And lying is its not the right thing to do. Oh man, what should I do? Mm. The bravest in all the land do not need help to finish a quest. Is that true? Am I making myself appear not as brave because Cal and I are working together on this quest to rescue King Asher? She's not really paying attention right now. I could cut through the Carving Oaks Pass and leave her in the dust, but that just doesn't seem right, especially to my best friend. Hey, what did that tree over there say? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. How about yours? Just some jibber jabber it. It what? Wait a second. 
that tree over there, it has different handwriting than the others. In fact, it looks like, no, it can't be. Can it? It looks like my father's handwriting. You're right. It looks just like King Asher's penmanship. Maybe he left us a message here am among the other ones. But what does it mean though? It says, King Belshazzar, who's that? It's a story of a king from the Bible that my father used to tell me before bed when I was little. It was my favorite story and it always helped me want to do what was right, even in the most toughest and confusing situations. That could be pretty helpful right now, actually. This story would be very helpful indeed, for Cal and Ace were stuck in a situation where neither of them were wanting to do the right thing. They can both learn something from King Belshazzar, and I believe you can too. King Belshazzar was the evil king of Babylon and loved to throw crazy parties for all of the people in his kingdom. At one party, he ordered his servants to bring in special gold cups. Now, these weren't any ordinary gold cups. These belonged to God's temple in Jerusalem. He wasn't supposed to use them, but he didn't care and chose to do the wrong thing. As he was sipping from his fancy gold cup, a giant hand suddenly appeared and started writing on the wall. King Belshazzar couldn't believe his eyes. Everyone at the party saw the writing and grew very, very quiet. And King Belshazzar grew very afraid. The king needed to figure out what these words meant. He called for advisors to come to him and read the writing on the wall. To sweeten the deal, he said that the person who could read this mysterious message would be rewarded with all kinds of riches. They would receive purple clothes, fancy gold chains, and power over the kingdom. But of all the people who came, there wasn't one who could tell him what it said. The queen, however, knew of someone who could read it. She told King Belshazzar all about a guy named Daniel who could interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve difficult problems. Daniel came and, of course, understood the words right away. He knew the message was not going to please the king, but he wanted to do the right thing. He told the king, this is what it means. God has tested you and you did not pass. Your time as king is over and your kingdom will be divided. This was bad news for King Belshazzar, but he kept his promise to Daniel. He put a gold chain around his neck, a purple robe on his back, and made him the third most powerful man in all of Babylon. That very night, King Belshazzar died. It must have been hard to stand up to a king and tell him bad news. But Daniel did the right thing and God blessed him. When we choose to do what is right, no matter how tough it might be, God will bless us too. My father was always trying to help me do what was right. And now he's helped me to see what is right again. I have to tell you something, Ace. The tree over here, it said something about a shortcut. And I thought about lying to you just so I could hurry up and get to the queen's lair faster. I need to apologize as well, Cal. The tree over here made me think that I wasn't a brave knight if I needed help rescuing the king. I was thinking about leaving you here in the middle of the forest so I could prove how brave I am to everyone. You know what? All of these trees lived in the evil queen's enchanted forest, which means that they worked for her and they can put whatever message that she wants on them. I bet she was just trying to trick us and make us not want to do what was right. But we won't fall for her tricks. We want to do what's right by finishing her challenges, saving the people of Erwin, and rescuing the king. Don't pay attention to what the trees say. Keep going the way that we know is right. Ace, I hear water. It must be that stream that you saw on the map. That means that we're following the right path to get us through to the Carving Oaks Pass. Whew, what a blessing. I was about to drink my own sweat because I'm so thirsty. See, it just goes to show that doing what's right really does pay off. And Cal, make sure you drink plenty of water. It may be the last chance we get to drink any water before facing the evil queen. Cal and Ace soon made it to the stream where they drank their fill of water. They were thankful for such a blessing that may not have come if they hadn't wanted to do what was right. But Ace was correct. They needed to drink plenty of water because the Queen's lair was closer than they realized. How much of the enchanted forest stands between them and the Queen? And will they make it in time to save King Asher? Find out in the next chapter. 
Wow, that sounds crazy. I wonder what Cal and Ace are going to face in the Enchanted Forest next week. I'm just glad they wanted to do what was right and decided not to listen to what Queen Melise was telling them through the carving oaks. It can be hard to always do what is right. Someone may cut in front of you in line. Someone may say something mean about you or even hurt you. Sometimes you may want to do something to hurt that person back, but that wouldn't be right. And even though wanting to do what is right can be hard, you will be so blessed when you do. That's actually what we need to know today. Can everyone repeat after me? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. When I want to do what's right. When I want to do what's right. Have you ever wondered how you can know what's right? You can find the difference between right and wrong just by looking in the Bible. God tells us what kinds of attitudes we should have, how we should treat other people, and so much more. You can also talk to God by praying and asking him if what you are wanting to do is right or not. Let's talk to him right now together. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the Bible so we can read it and know how to do what's right. Help us to know in our hearts if we are wanting to do something that's wrong, and please give us the desire to do what's right instead. We love you. Amen.